Snake, have you ever seen the beast from 20,000 Fathoms? Nope. It's about this monster that comes to life from deep within a glacier as a result of an H-bomb test in the Arctic. It crosses the ocean and emerges in New York. I especially like the scene where the monster attacks the lighthouse, and the one where it pops out of a valley in Manhattan and makes a big hole in a building. And the last scene on the burning roller coaster was simply incredible. And because I saw it in a drive-in theater, I actually felt like I was part of the movie. It's funny, isn't it? How you can let yourself get absorbed into these things without thinking even when you know it's not real? Distinguishing between what's real and what's not isn't always as simple as we think. Well, don't get too absorbed in your mission. It's important to take a rest every now and then. Snake, have you seen The Magnificent Seven? Sorry. It's a remake of the Japanese classic The Seven Samurai, only in a Western setting. This tiny Mexican village is attacked every year by bandits. Finally, the village elder can't stand it any longer and decides to hire someone to protect the village. Seven gunmen respond to the call. They teach the villagers how to shoot and prepare for the oncoming attack. But then, the enemy shows up at the village with a huge band. Then what happens? You'll just have to see it for yourself. I don't want to spoil it. No. Movies are only fun when you actually watch them. There's something you have to experience for yourself. Hey, Snake, have you ever seen My Mother Was a Teenage Spider Queen from Mars? I can't say that I have. Neither have I. Paramedic, what was that movie you were talking about earlier? Which one? My mother, the teenage whatever. Oh, that. Sorry. The Major was talking to me at the time, and I wasn't really paying attention. Don't worry. I'll get it right next time. Snake, have you ever seen North by Northwest? Missed that one. It's about this ordinary guy who runs an ad agency. He's mistaken for someone else and gets kidnapped and forced to do a certain job. As a result, he gets tangled up in a conspiracy, and pretty soon he's traveling to New York, Chicago, and even Mount Rushmore in pursuit of the real culprit. Hitchcock's films always keep you on the edge of your seat, but sometimes they can be funny when you least expect it. That's why I love them. Have you seen all of his films? All of them? Ugh, not even close. He's been making movies since before I was born. I guess I might have seen some of them on TV. But the first movie I ever saw in the theater was a Hitchcock film. We all went and saw it as a family. It was Rebecca. This was when you were a kid? Yeah, my parents love watching movies, so they took me along. I didn't quite understand the plot, but for some reason I thought it was really scary. Actually, I remember the candy bar they bought me on the way home better than the movie itself. That's when you fell in love with movies? You could say that. It was like an irresistible force at that point. I was completely swept away. Snake, have you ever heard of the blob? No, I haven't. A meteorite falls in a small town, and inside there's this kind of living ooze. The ooze starts swallowing people and grows to an enormous size. After it eats a bunch of the townspeople, it starts to fill up a movie theater. Then these young people try to save the town from its gruesome fate. It's pretty frightening to see something that's not even supposed to be alive suddenly start moving around and eating people. Not something you see every day. Snake, you know the bridge on the River Kwai? Haven't seen it. It's about a group of Allied prisoners in Japanese-occupied Burma in World War II who worked together to build a bridge. Under the leadership of an English officer, the prisoners and the Japanese gradually bring the project toward completion. But at the same time, the Allied forces are hatching a plan to blow up the bridge. War and futility go hand in hand. I suppose so. I didn't think you were the type to go for war movies, though. Actually, this guy invited me to go see it with him. A date? I guess you could call it that. Still, you just don't seem like the type. Well, he seemed to like war movies. He was a Navy boy. I was still an intern back then. They brought him in with a broken leg. He said, when I'm all healed up, will you go see a movie with me to celebrate? If it's okay. He was so shy. Where is he now? With the Seventh Fleet. I see.
Snake, you caught a Tsuchinoko. What? Is it true, Snake? Yeah. Way to go, my man. You really are the boss's apprentice. Yes, it looks like sending you in was worth it after all. Hurry up and finish your mission and then bring it back to us. Under no circumstances are you to eat it, is that clear? <sighs> Drop your weapon. Drop your weapon! I found the end. He's dead. What the hell happened? Maybe it was from old age. You mean he kicked the bucket in the middle of a battle? Maybe. I... Well, Snake, the victory is yours. No, I don't think so. What do you mean? It was his dying wish to fight me, but I disappointed him. Snake, listen to yourself. This is a mission. It's not a game, it's not a sport. You think you're competing for the gold at Tokyo or something? I guess you're right. Just focus on completing the mission. Yes, sir. Grandpa! don't deserve to meet your fate just yet. You disappoint me, young snake. The moment you close your eyes on the battlefield is the moment you never open them again. That's why I don't sleep here. 